Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Thank you for joining the Infinite Imaginarium. Yes, the Infinite Imaginarium. I am really excited about where we're going to take the Infinite Imaginarium. Uh, we Last week, we had the Infinite Imaginarium social contracts, and where we're dealing with kind of like how you build the new story of humanity uh, uh, as far as society and stuff. But today, we're actually going to be about the internal Imaginarium. How do you rebuild your own story? And um, so we labeled it the programmable mind. And actually It's uh, Teal Swan, and uh, she does a video called Fuck the Law of Attraction. It seems like today is a day of talking about this concept. It's been sort of predominant in my world right now. Um, but she asked the questions, you know, uh, Basically, what is desired in the change, and where is it rooted? Um, I mean, because where she gave an example in her video that she had uh, this court case, and that she was, you know, she was trying to ask herself basically the question, um, you know, how did I create this into my existence, and why am I dealing with it? But you know, it's it's really about. It, these thoughts that are in our head. If, if we don't come to the realization that we're not our thoughts and we're not our feelings and we're not our emotions, we're simply the observation of that. Whether it be sort of like, uh, if you can imagine uh, the, a rover, the rover theory, you know, where um, you're somewhere else, uh, you're here on Earth, but you got a rover on Mars and, and it's rovering around. But the problem is, is that instead of it exploring the, the, the surface of Mars for you, uh, it's got its own agenda. It decides it wants to do something else, and that's sort of like what's what's happening with us. And we don't automatically understand if something's a good thing or a bad thing. We just feel okay. It's well, it's causing me discomfort. I'm stressed about it, so it must be a bad thing. So uh, you know, it comes back to me somehow. And sometimes it's this astral uh, projection of yourself or your higher source, or uh, in my in my description of it it's you back on their planet earth um you know uh making some decisions for the rover in order to to uh you know for the best interest of, of whatever the mission is i guess to a person that that you are outside of this earth uh has a different concept and a, basically a higher concept of what is good and what is bad for your lessons and and, and what's going to come into you uh, into your ego, I guess this this thing that you see yourself as. Which, I mean, you can get caught up in this whole life of I'm only what I think, until you realize, until you understand how the brain works, and you understand well everything that I think is absolutely coming from somebody else. It's their dead man's words, you know. Um, my parents learned them from their parents, and their parents learned it from their parents, and they all taught it to me when I was a kid, and my teachers and friends and family, everybody. In society has taught me stuff and they've no one's ever questioned where is that coming from it's antiquities it's coming from the past it's dead and we're living and so until we come to the conclusion that we are just living we're, we're right now right here the ideas that are in our minds the programming that we have to to, to 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 get to the root of being able to unprogram even if you take a drug like ayahuasca or anything else like that to get to the root of who you are and how to get to cut through the programming itself, uh, you really have to get to the understanding that you aren't your thoughts. You aren't like, and and well, you're con you you are your consciousness, but you're not your subconsciousness. Um, and and to understand what the subconscious is, it's that person that's driving the car while you're spacing off, or texting, or you know, lighting a cigarette, or whatever it is that you might be doing driving while you're not driving. Uh, or paying attention to driving. That's your subconscious. Your subconscious is also, while it's driving, it's digesting your food from lunch and, and uh, you know, listening, dialing in the radio. It, it, it can it can literally do everything. It, it blinks. It, it's a supercomputer, and it's and it's controlling everything. And and you have to ask yourself when you when you go to to the point of, it, it, see, it's, it can be dangerous to go in and start reprogramming yourself, especially if you don't understand uh, what to reprogram. You just may end up receiving more programs of the same that you're or, or more of the same because your your higher self is trying to tell you well look you keep running away from the thing that you want that you're looking for you know and and it, it but it has to come in this way that is sort of undesirable uh, but you might not be able to see that you, you can't step out of that perspective until you can you can conceive well 
everything that I'm thinking is 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 not my consciousness unless I'm actually just aware of the moment, aware of what my thoughts are, aware of the situation, aware of all the different things. Um, am I asking the right questions about what it is that I'm trying to change and what is the what is that rooted in? You know, why do I want to change it? It's, am I trying to change it because it's undesirable? It's it's uncomfortable. Is it a legitimate grievance against things that you know really should be changed? You know, um, those are all things that you have to really look into yourself. But you have to understand that you aren't your thoughts. You aren't these things that keep recurring in your brain uh, over and over again. It's the subconscious programming. Whether you put it there, whether it's your mind control, we're all. We're, we're all succumbing to, to mind control, whether it be the mind control that came from our environment, our people, the government, the church, our parents, or it came from ourselves, because we do do our own programming. Um, and, and realize what programming is good programming, what good what, what programming isn't good programming. And really, it's just, it's, it's your habits. It's what you decide exactly what you are is a big task. Um, because what you really are is just an explore, uh, to explore this world. And if you're not exploring, then chances are you're probably in some kind of pattern. And and the reason why uh, you're here to explore is to understand what, it, you know, uh, to experience everything. To, to, that's that's where the source is. That's how you grow as a human being. Uh, that's how your cells grow in your body, is through the exploration, that energy that it, that that exploration causes in your being um, the exploration of love the exploration of, of um, the, the world around you the you know culture you know, people and um, you know what is it that we really are trying to change is, is a really a good question to ask before you start changing things. and and why you want to change it um, and what is that rooted in is that rooted in my highest purpose you know, maybe sometimes if you look at what you're trying to change and, and and then maybe look at it as maybe it's your challenge to overcome it. And if that's something that you need to overcome, then to, to greet it and accept it with robustness and like you would as an adventurer going into the unknown. So the problem is, is that that we have this fear of the unknown and if we're not completely comfortable in knowing everything and controlling everything, then we're uncomfortable and we need to get into a position where we're controlling it. But that's not the... the the mission of an adventurer or an explorer. The mission of an adventurer or explorer is to find the new and find what what is out there to know. And 